This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 Technology Student course. One of the unique and powerful features of TI Inspire is the way all the applications integrate seamlessly to form a single document that can be saved and shared. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create, edit, save and manage documents. Let's start with an interesting problem to explore. Properties of highly composite numbers sometimes referred to as <coughs> anti-primes. Start a new document and insert a spreadsheet application. The spreadsheet tab is labelled 1.1, problem 1, page 1. Label the first column num to represent the list of numbers being explored. Label the second column quantity QTY, the quantity of factors for the numbers in the number column. Labeling columns makes them easy to access in other applications. The first number is 1. It has exactly one factor. It gains the title as highly composite by default having no preceding numbers. The second number is 2. It has exactly two factors and while it's prime it does have more factors than all preceding numbers not a great claim since there's only one preceding number. Nevertheless, this property makes it a highly composite number or antiprime. The third number is 3. It has two factors, so it's not highly composite. The number 4 has three factors, more factors than any of its predecessors. It's the new champion, so it's highly composite. Now, there is a much quicker way to enter the numbers in the first column. Use the shift and arrow keys to highlight cells A3 and A4. Press menu, select data and fill. Arrow down to cell A25 and press enter. Now we can focus on the quantity of factors in the second column. I'll enter a couple of results. As the numbers get bigger, counting factors could take more time. However, the calculator has a few tools that will help. I'll insert a calculator application by pressing the document key. Select Insert, Calculator. Notice that the tab says 1.2. We're still working with problem 1, but we've added a second page. This page contains a calculator application. Press menu, select number, then factor. Key in 26. The result is the prime factorization of the number 26. And as I know a special formula, I can tell from this result that 26 has exactly four factors. So we want to go back to the spreadsheet. Press control, followed by the left arrow. Now we'll enter the result for the quantity of factors for the number 26. As the list of data grows, we may want to have a look at a graph of the data. Press CTRL followed by I to insert another application. Select Data and Statistics. Press TAB to jump straight to the X axis. Select Number. Press TAB to jump to the Y axis. Select Quantity. We can see the factor count for the numbers to date. Move the mouse over the extreme points. These are our highly composite numbers. I would like to return to the spreadsheet to add some more data. I could use the control and left and right arrow keys to move around or press control and up arrow. This is like the page sort of view in PowerPoint. Each icon has a small bit of detail of the page content. Navigate to the corresponding page and press enter. I'll add some more data.
Now, navigate back to the Data and Statistics application, press Menu, Window Zoom, and select Zoom Data to refresh the graph. The brilliant mathematician Ramanujan identified several patterns in highly composite numbers by studying their prime factorization. More recently, 14-year-old student Akalan Sankaran won a competition where he wrote a program capable of calculating highly composite numbers with more than a thousand digits. If you wanted to explore such a program, you might want to put that as a separate but related problem. Press the document key, select Insert, Problem, and add a Python program. I'll call it HCN. You're now ready to start programming. But notice the Page tab. The 2 stands for Problem 2, and the 1, Page 1. Press Ctrl I to insert a calculator application. Press the variable key. You notice that our number and quantity variables are not available. That's because they only exist in Problem 1. Press Escape. Now Control up navigate back to the calculator application in Problem 1 and press Enter. Now press the variable key. The number and quantity variables are still there. As this lesson comes to a close, you may want to save your work. Press the document key, select File, Save As. Navigate to the folder you want to save your document in, and give it a name. And press Enter. You can now start a new document knowing that your work has been saved. Of course, if you try and start a new document, but you haven't yet saved your current one, the calculator will prompt you before it starts a new document. Note that you can also add folders, delete documents and folders through the Browse menu on the home screen or via the TI Inspire software that came with your calculator. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.